Welcome to this 20 minute HIIT workout. This is gonna be a body weight, fat burner, HIIT workout. You can start warming up. You can warm up just by marching in place, or if you want, you can do a pullback and a hamstring curl. You can do a reach overhead. You can do any kind of warm up exercise you want. Hi, my name is Shelly Itz, and I am from Alive and Active Wellness, and this is our Keep Going Strong workout. That's gonna be our theme for today, and we're gonna do four different exercises, and we're gonna just be going strong for a few seconds, resting for a few seconds, and going back and forth. It's gonna be a fast moving workout, but I really pray that you allow your workout today to become worship. So the first exercise is a jumping jack, or you can do a side jack for a success option. <laughs> you can also just do a, a side step. The second exercise is going to be a lunge around the world. So you're lunging forward. Let me just move my notes a little bit here. <laughs> um, lunging forward with your right, lunging to the side with your right, and then lunging back. And then you're gonna switch legs forward, side, and then back. Because of my limited space, I'm gonna have to move around a little bit, but that one you'll just go at your own pace. You can do forward, so maybe if I do it to the side. Forward, side, and back. Yeah, that'll be better. <laughs> and then you'll switch. You know, forward, side, and back. And if you want to have weights and do some biceps curls at the same time, that'd be great. And then burpees. <laughs> Burpees is where you jump, come down, jump out. You can do a push-up if you want. Come back in and up. Now to modify, you can take the jump out and you can just come down. You can take the jump out down here and just step out. That's probably what I'm gonna do so I can keep talking. <laughs> and you can put against a chair or a wall. And so, you know, you can take the jump out, uh, you know, here. You can take this jump out, but you can do whatever works best for you and your body. Listen to your body and listen to the Lord, amen. And then you can also do it against a wall. You know, you just can jump up, step back and so forth. The last exercise is a bridge. So we're gonna be laying down and I prefer to do the one leg bridge but you can also do it any way that works best for you. So you can do the regular bridge here. You're activating your abs and your glutes. Or if you wanna do the one-legged bridge, it just is a little bit harder. And if it's difficult for you to get to the floor, you can actually do a standing hip extension. This is a very small motion. You're tightening your glutes as you bring your leg back. So those are the four exercises we're gonna do today. I encourage you to lift the corners of your mouth. Just ask God to be with you. Lord, we just pray that you come in to this workout, that you envelop us, that our workout becomes worship. And we thank you for what you're gonna do through this time with us today. Amen. All right. We get started with the jumping jack. Three, two, one, let's go. And you can, you're gonna, um, you're gonna go hard for eight seconds at about an RPE of six, and then you're gonna rest. So a six is not going all out. <laughs> a six is kind of, you know, you're just starting to breathe hard. And so this isn't a kill yourself workout, <laughs> but it's proven through research to actually help you burn fat. And so that's why it's called the fat burner hit workout. And you can do a modification like I'm doing. You can do an actual jumping jack. And you can even do a harder one where you, you know, fly out like that. <laughs> I had a little difficulty with that one. But um, do whichever one is best for you. The thing I love about this exercise routine, the fat burner hit workout, is it's fast moving. <laughs> it keeps you interested. It keeps you going. You're not doing any one thing too long. And you're not 
like it's not crazy hard. <laughs> We're just going at a rate of perceived exertion of a six. So watch the screen so you can see when you're to push and when you're to stop. All right, go ahead and relax a little bit. And our verse for today comes from Philippians 1, 6. And I am certain that God, who began the good work within you, will continue his work. Can you say amen? Wherever you're at doing jumping jacks right now. That he will continue his work until it is finally finished on the day when Christ Jesus returns. Amen and amen. That's why we're calling the theme this month, Keep Going Strong. Because how many of you know, it's easy to get sabotaged. It's easy to give up. Right now, I'm at my dad's. That's why I'm in a different location. <laughs> and I had to modify to do this workout for you, but I wanted to be able to you know, give this to you and to be able to um, be able to continue on despite what's going on in my life. But, um, you know, I, it's been a huge drain this week as I've been helping my dad. He was a victim of identity theft and he has had a lot going on. He is, um, he has um, permanent brain damage from an assault in 2009. And so he needs some extra help. So not only did we come out here to help him recover everything and make sure everything's okay with the identity theft, but we're also getting ready to move him closer to my sister in Florida. So I was exhausted. All right, this next time we're gonna do the second exercise, the lunge around the world. So get ready. And if, if the lunges aren't good for you, you can just do a modified squat. You can do a sit to stand um, from a chair. And all of that is good. Yeah, I'll probably just be able to do one cycle each time and then you can switch. But um, this has been an intense week and honestly, I didn't feel like exercising a few days and that was okay. I listened to my body, I listened to the Lord and I allowed my body to rest. And um, yeah, I didn't go more than a couple days, I think maybe three days. And you know what? I was an energy management for me at that moment. <laughs> but I guess my point in telling you all of this is that I didn't allow it to sabotage me into quitting and to getting out of this routine. I've had this routine for many, many years now. <laughs> I think four years now. And so, you know, I didn't want my circumstances to sabotage you. And I encourage you to keep going strong. If you need a day off, if you need to rest, rest if you need to just don't quit on me okay let's keep going with the empowerment of god so i am certain that god who began the good work within you will continue his work until it is finally finished on the day when christ jesus returns amen <laughs> that word to be certain means to be persuaded to suffer oneself to be persuaded, to be induced to believe, to have faith, to believe, um, to be persuaded of a thing concerning a person, to listen to, obey, yield to, comply with, to trust, have confidence, be confident. So all of those words, you know, it's like this certainty, this confidence, you're persuaded you know that God is in this with you, that he is not going to leave you, he has not forsaken you, and he is going to finish the work, amen? That word begin, or began, um, he who began a good work in you, that word began is um, a word that means to begin and make a beginning, which is pretty obvious, right? <laughs> and the words finally finished, it means to bring to an end, accomplish, perfect, execute, complete. And so, you know, those are fairly obvious what those meanings are. Um, this next one, we're gonna go to the third exercise, 
which it's your burpees. <laughs> All right, <laughs> you can do this. And I'm gonna do the modification. Keep your head up and try not to look down uh, when you're doing that. You're gonna go eight seconds at RPE of six, which means you're starting to breathe hard, starting to become hard to talk. Then you get 12 seconds break. It's good, right? <laughs> but give me your effort at six for the eight seconds. Good job. So those words begin and finally finished. I find it really interesting that they're the exact same words that are found in Galatians 3.3. 3. So both of those words are found in Galatians 3.3. 3. <laughs> so now are you cur curious what Galatians 3.3 3 says? <laughs> Galatians 3.3 3 says, how foolish can you be? After starting, so that word starting, your new lives, that word starting is the same as begin, a new work. After starting your new lives in the spirit, why are you now trying to become perfect? That word become perfect is finally finished. Um, why are you trying to become perfect by your own human effort? Now that <laughs> is a verse that will convict me every time. Now, for some of us, you know, we're, we're doers. I'm one of those. You're, you'll, you'll go, 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 and do, do, do. Maybe you do for others, and at the risk of, you know, overdoing for yourself. But some of us will go, 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 and try in human effort. Other of, others of us are like, I just don't even think I can. So I'm not even gonna try, and we go to neglect. You know what? That's human effort as well. And both sides of the coin, human effort, whether we're lagging behind or we're pushing, pushing, pushing ahead, obsessing and restricting or neglecting and in rebellion. And so I find it really interesting that those same words are found in Galatians 1.6, which is our scripture for this workout in this month and in Galatians 3.3. 3. How foolish can you be after starting your new lives in the spirit? Why are you now trying to become perfect by your own human effort? All right, the next one, we're moving on to exercise four. We're getting on the floor, we're gonna do bridges. I actually like bridges. <laughs> um, if you wanna do one-legged bridges, do one leg and then switch it to the other leg um, each time. You can also do the same leg several times in a row, but it's just easier if you to get it even <laughs> if you keep switching. <laughs> and so, you know, this is a really good overall core exercise. You wanna make sure you're engaging your abs. It's easy to just leave them out of the equation. So make sure you're tightening first here at your abs, and then you're engaging your glutes as well. And so, um, you know, we're getting a good workout even though we're not using technically any weights. We're using our body weight. <laughs> and that is good. We actually don't have to have weights all the time. Weights are, are nice because it helps you to progress and you have more options. <laughs> but there's a lot you can do just with body weight. So today we're talking about keep going strong. What is it that tends to trip you up? What is it that tends to sabotage you with your workouts, with your food and nutrition? What are the things that can get to you? No, for some of us, it is relationships. I just had a client yesterday tell me that she's been really stressed because of family issues and has been eating and gained the weight that she lost. And you know what? That's a very common thing. And, um, you know, we're all going to do it at times. <laughs> we're all going to go to food 
at different times when we're stressed. God has begun to help me identify so many different options and ways that I can help with my stress management so that I'm not just automatically going to food. But um, that has been something that I have struggled with at, at times too. You know, so it could be people and just, just set healthy boundaries, right? It could be overextending ourselves. So our schedule is so full that then there's no time <laughs> to exercise. There's no time to meal plan or to cook or we think there isn't. I used to think I didn't have time to cook and to meal plan, but I'm realizing I, I made it a lot harder for myself than I needed to, right? <laughs> and so we can keep it simple too and keep going strong. All right, great job. <laughs> We're done with the main exercises and I don't know about you, but I'm sweating. Woo. Um, my dad's apartment is pretty warm. <laughs> That's probably part of it, but that was a good workout. We're gonna start with our cool down and let's start with some hamstring stretches and standing so you're gonna feel the stretch in the back of your leg. And I've shared this story before, but when I stepped out in faith in September of 2011, when I quit my job as a physical therapist, we really began well. So it says, you know, I am certain that God who began the good work in you, and we began well. We were excited, we set out, it was like, yes, let's go. But when things got tough and it wasn't working out like we hoped, we started to doubt. And with that doubt, I began to, to go into this, this phase of trying to figure things out in my own human effort. All right, now we're gonna do a hip flexor stretch. Should feel it on this size, side. And you wanna go just to the edge where you can feel it. Um, everyone's different. You might be up here, and this is a really good stretch for you. You wanna just go to that edge, just to where you're feeling the stretch, but it's not pain. And so I really began to go into doing mode and let me see how I can fix this. And striving, workaholism creeped in. And although I know God used a lot of the things, you know, the books and the things that we created during those years, um, the early years of being full-time in business, I also know that I wasn't in a good place. Just like in, um, in Galatians 3.3 where it says, after starting your new lives in the spirit, why are you now trying to become perfect by your own human effort? All right, let's go ahead and do a calf stretch so you can be against the wall and bring your calf out this way. I'm just gonna come this way. And I hit a breaking point in 2017 where I couldn't sustain the pace that I was going any longer. I needed to learn to go at the pace of God's grace. And so, go ahead and switch. It's been a long road, and honestly, I'm still on it. <laughs> but I will say that allowing God set the pace to the work is so much better. That doesn't mean we don't have to do anything. <laughs> but the difference is going at the pace of God's grace. All right, let's go ahead and get your quad. So Galatians 3.3 says, how foolish can you be after starting your new lives in the spirit? Or we could say, as you have your new lives of incorporating fitness with faith, why are you now trying to become perfect by your own human effort? Almost everyone in the fitness world will tell you, go girl, you can do it. You know, just try harder. And it's like, no, <laughs> it's not about human effort. Let's do a tricep stretch. I don't know about you, this verse, it just gets me every time. God's way is always better, even when it takes longer. You know, takes long, it may take longer to see the results that you want, even when it's harder. 
even when we don't see the results we want to see when we want to see them. Switch arms. So my question for you today is, will you surrender to God today to go at the pace of God's grace? For some of you, that may look like slowing down for a season. It may, it may look like not doing HIIT workouts right now <laughs> and going for a walk instead or doing a dance party instead. <laughs> but it may, it may look like slowing down for some of you. For others, it may look like staying consistent when you've typically given up by now. Amen? Don't give up. Keep going strong but by the Spirit, not by human effort. And I am certain that God, who began the good work in you, my friend, in you, will continue his work until it is finally finished on the day when Christ Jesus returns. And so the work he is doing in you is not just external, it's also internal, right? Mental, spiritual, (laughs) emotional. Let's pray. So Lord, I just thank you so much that you are with us right now, that you are working in us, that you are faithful to continue your work in us until it is finally finished on the day when Jesus Christ returns, on the day when you return for us. Lord, thank you that you are always at work. And no matter what our circumstances, no matter where we've been and and whether human effort has worked, failed, or where we've been, we always have a fresh start today and we can keep going strong in your spirit, (laughs) keeping in step with the spirit, going at the pace of God's grace. And we thank you for this. We receive your grace right now. We, we receive your pace for us and our lives right now. And I pray in Jesus' powerful name. Amen. Amen, friends. Thank you for joining me in this workout. And we will see you next time. Again, my name is Shelly Hitz from Alive and Active Wellness.